I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts about Magnolia. Do you have like a permit or something to permission to film? Okay, I just need like permission. Hi. Hi. Have you just got a manager? Have a manager come out if you'd like to. What up, my people? This is my mom. My mom is visiting me. She doesn't like to get burned. She's like that guy from that movie Benchwarmer. She's afraid of the sun. <laughs> Today we are going to Magnolia. Maybe my first time ever. How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? Good. I live right next to this place. Never really go. And I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason why I don't go is because. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. It's not my thing. Don't say that. These are my honest thoughts about Magnolia. Well, here's the thing. The thing is, is that people who live in a town or a famous location generally never go visit that. There's these two people, Chip and Joanna Gaines. So they started this whole Magnolia thing and it's blown up and they're like really helping the economy. However, what I have heard from the people of Waco is that a lot of the local Wacoans aren't huge fans of this place. Uh, so there's two sides. Do you have like a permit or something to for for a permission to film? Uh, no, I'm just vlogging. We just need like something to like. Be, there's people need to like confirm that you can you know do it. Okay, I just need like permission from my manager, so I'll okay. talk to them and then I'll let you know. Sure. You can just wait right. Hi. Hi. How are you? What's your name? I'm sorry. Silas. Have you just got a manager? I'm pretty sure it's okay, but just want to double check. I'll be right back. Sure. This is what I don't understand. What happens when you walk around with a camera that's not just like a, a phone camera, people like tend to just freak out more. Literally, 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 you could literally vlog and do the exact same thing with your phone and no one's gonna stop you. But as soon as you have a camera like that looks like more than just a phone, people are like, oh, I'm not sure if you can do that. It happens all the time. You just kind of have to flow with it. This is kind of, hi, how's it going? It's kind of what you just have to deal with. The manager come out if you'd like to speak with someone since you do have a camera and what you want. Hey! Oh my gosh! Hi, you! How are you doing? Okay, great. So, one of my friends who is a fellow athlete at Baylor is actually one of the managers here. So, here, that was cool. I didn't know she worked here. Basically, what they said was that they don't allow news people to just walk in there and interview people, I guess. I don't know what the purpose of that is. First impression, it feels really good. The air conditioning works. That's a major plus. It smells really good in here. This is, this is, it, it has the hipster cool, aesthetically pleasing vibe. $18. <laughs> what did I say? Literally, my mom asked me uh, what Magnolia was like, and I was like, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna be like, ooh, this is nice. And then you're gonna pick something up and you're gonna say, $40 candle? No, thank you. What did I say? Woo. I mean, look, here's the deal. This is like a really beautiful place. I can see why people like it. I love candles, in fact, but 58 for this. Does it say Texas? Or I don't have that type of money. Let me see this. Chip or Joe. What is that, 75? Yeah, but oh my gosh. If you think real oh, leather. All you have to do is buy a bookmark and you get your stuff shipped ship for free. <laughs> that's not a bookmark, that's a placemat. I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts about Magnolia. Say my gut reaction would say Magnolia is a positive thing for Waco. I think that it has brought tons of business. It's created jobs. Chip and Joanna Gaines. I think they're really good people that bring a lot of great values to not only this community, but uh, to our country. They're very family oriented, which I love. Obviously don't know them, 
I never watched Fixer Upper because it just wasn't my thing. I didn't, I don't have a home and I'm, I just have nothing to do with it, so I don't. At first glance, when you first walk in, you're like, this place is definitely for homeowners. I'm not a huge fan of it, but that's just my preference. I'm not paying $58 for a candle, I'll tell you that. But I'm actually looking forward to them when they finish all this. Uh, I think it's gonna look really cool right here in downtown Waco. I think it's gonna make downtown Waco a really exciting place to be. So I'm not hating on Magnolia, but Magnolia doesn't need anyone else to spotlight them. Like they got enough people spotlighting them. They're gonna continue to grow. Uh, I wanted to show more of the parts of Waco that are unknown, the parts of Waco that are hidden in the shadows of Magnolia, of Baylor. Final thoughts, I think it's something worth stopping and seeing if you come through Waco. Really aesthetically pleasing place to be. Magnolia, although it's not my favorite place, I would recommend stopping by and at least seeing it if you're gonna come through Waco.